Hello, everybody, and welcome to Philly Crypto Trading Plus. Today is March 1st. I want to bring you a bit of some good news. Uh, Goldman Sachs here is uh, relaunching Crypto Trading Desk after a three-year pause. Very important stuff. So I'll read just a bit of it for you guys. Investment bank Goldman Sachs has relaunched its cryptocurrency trading desk after a three-year hiatus and plans to once again support Bitcoin. Futures trading. A source familiar with the matter confirmed the coin desk. Contrary to an early report by Reuters, the source said the service would resume in mid-March, not next week. The desk is part of a broader push into digital assets that may see Goldman attempt to stage a Bitcoin exchange traded fund, Reuters said. It will be a part of Goldman's U.S. Global Markets Division. The bank had originally planned to launch a crypto desk in 2017, but shelved those plans in 2018 due to regulatory concerns. Coindesk reported in January that Goldman was looking to re-enter the cryptocurrency industry, including a custody offering within the coming months. The move follows fellow megabank Bank of New York Mellon announcing last month a crypto custody service, reportedly in partnership with Fireblocks. Once Bank of New York Mellon is holding Bitcoins on clients' behalf, uh, it may roll out additional services, the bank suggested in an interview with Coindesk. So why uh, why is this important? What's it matter? What does it all mean to you? Well, I'll tell you. First of all, let's look at this. We have Goldman Sachs, according to America. In this report, we've got Goldman Sachs here <clears throat> at just about $2.1 trillion in assets. Okay, now um, this is what America says. However, you go to the worldwide stats, top 10, you can see here Bank New York Mellon has got 1.9 trillion, and uh, that would put uh, Goldman Sachs anywhere around six, seven, thereabouts. But a couple of conflicting information here. You can see here Bank New York Mellon 1.96. So a bit off, but the point is you've got two in, the, in two months apart, Bank New York Mellon. Goldman Sachs saying, hey, we're going to start with these funds. We're, and more importantly, Goldman Sachs, after three years, guys, what does that say? That's very, very important. So, again, what does this all mean to you? You've got this large asset management tool, huge, both of them and Bank of Mark Mellon, that are now going to offer exchange-traded funds. So I see much more trading volume coming into this area, which is specifically Bitcoin, which would mean the other coins would follow, because remember, that's the leader, right? So uh, much more speculation, much more money, and much more trading volume, which, which again, will be more money in, for brokers and, and the whole bit. But it just, it just falls down the food chain, if you know what I mean. So... Uh, basically, guys, uh, this this nonsense out there about Bitcoin going to zero, oh my God, what's going to happen next? It, it, honestly, guys, I think it's quite hysterical, you know? So what I say, uh, you know, by the way, let's back up. Do you remember uh, a little while back when our tax dollars were paying out the bankers, right? We're, we're bailing them out, right? Well, why did we do that? Because they said they were too big to fail. So now they're jumping in. Right? Remember two or three years ago, it was the most the worst thing. And, oh my God, stay away and just scaring the crap out of everybody, right? Well, this is what you do when you want to be able to garner the coins for yourself and get them at a cheap price. This is the common tactic. I've talked about this several times before and I'll continue to tell you, give you a proper perspective. That being said, though, so what I say, guys, with all this in mind and all this interest coming to the industry and all the speculation, all the money and all the interest, uh, I say to the naysayers out there, uh, relax, because Bitcoin isn't going anywhere anytime soon. With that in mind, guys, if you like uh, what you hear and, and you like this channel, a lot more content to look at. We'll be doing some Bitcoin analysis and some Ethereum a little bit later today. I'm, I'm a little bit backed up right now. But if you like what you hear and see, guys, uh, don't be afraid to uh, hit that like button. Uh, it lets uh, YouTube know that uh, this is the kind of content that you guys want to see, and it's very important. Also, make sure you comment down below in the comment section. Uh, I will just say, hey, I subscribed, and I will uh, personally comment to you guys. If you've got any concerns or questions, things you would like me to cover, feel free to also put that down there. With that in mind, guys, everybody have a great day.